Hey beans, and welcome to my face. This video is a little different than most of my top 10 videos. That's right, it has my face in it. Because these are ideas that I'm throwing out for Animal Jam to add, and so I can't really show them on camera because some of them have edits made of them, but a lot of them are just speculation and crazy things I've thought up. And what inspired me to do this video was Apari and Bepper and a few other Animal Jam YouTubers have been throwing out their ideas for Animal Jam improvements, and I figured, hey, why not jump on the train? I've got plenty of Animal Jam ideas that I wanna share with Animal Jam itself and you guys, just because it's cool to speculate about stuff every once in a while. So without further ado, let's get into the top 10 things that I believe Animal Jam should add into the game. Now, number 10 is the idea of pins and more customization of your player card. When you open up your player card, when you like search someone up and click them, or when you click someone's name tag in Jamal Township, it's really kind of basic. It shows their animal in a default position with the same background, with the same buttons. And I think Animal Jam could really add some more customization there because that is one of the things that makes Animal Jam such a good game is your ability to customize everything. But your player card, one of the central aspects that defines who you are as a player to other people, is completely unchangeable. There's nothing you can do. So I think, first of all, they should add some sort of pin system like Club Penguin has. And you know, maybe they don't have to do it like Club Penguin, like where you release one pin hidden throughout the game once every two weeks. Maybe they could do it more like you buy a pin, or Rare Item Mondays can be your pin, or something like that. So you can show how long you've been playing the game, or you can show that you have rare pins, or something like that. And you could put them on your player card, just like you have that little key to show that you're a member and people would be very impressed. And you can show exactly how long you've been playing the game because rares are a good indicator but they're not always totally accurate. And there is the possibility that pins could be tradable, but I don't think that's the best idea because basically pins being tradable is, is just rare item Mondays. It's the special item that shows up once a week and will never return again that you can trade. So if they're not tradable, it's really a way to show how long you've been playing the game. I think that'd be really cool. Another thing I think would be really nice is if you could change that background you have. When you open it, every single person has that boring, bland background with the grass, and the dirt and the sky. And it's like, oh my god, I'm so tired of seeing it. And it's obviously not that hard. Animal Jam added a new background for underwater animals. But why couldn't we have some cool backgrounds for all of our animals? You know, you click on someone's player tag and they have a wolf. And it's it's a normal wolf, but there's like a volcano in the background. That would be sick. And then that brings me to my other point that's also part of this player card customization thing. What if you could have your animals pose in different poses? Because right now every single animal has a default pose. And I don't think that it would be that hard, kind of like what they did for the photo booth to just make it so that an animal was rotated a little bit or was doing a different action when you clicked on someone's player card. I think that would make everyone's profiles so much more interactive and so much cooler to click on. Number nine would be customizable dents. Now you're like, Julian, you can already change your dents, but you can't really change your dents. You're set with the den you're given and then you place items into it. But what if there were certain defaults that you could put together to create a den? So for example, you might have a den that's split into three parts. It could be a fantasy castle. And then up at the top, you have the choice of having like a tower, a hot tub, or a bounce house. And you can put one of those in. And then like that, that's part of the background. And if you could just change that background a little bit, and I think that'd be really cool. And Animal Jam, if you wanna sell dens for seven diamonds each, they gotta be cool. And you could maybe charge like 10 diamonds for these really cool customizable dens. And it would make it so that decorating your den wasn't just click, drag, click, drag. Ooh, those look good together. It could be actually changing the den itself. And another really cool way Animal Jam could add den customization is if you could make like a series of like 10 rooms, maybe in just a basic block formation, but each room could have like its own wallpaper and like its own theme. And so like you could actually split it up and customize your den with these basic rooms however you wanted. Now, the big problem is Animal Jam couldn't make it so you could design the rooms yourself. Like you couldn't put them in the specific order you wanted because then people might like make inappropriate shapes or something or like spell out bad words. But it'd be really cool if you could actually have different wallpaper for different rooms in your den. So you could have like multiple themes within one. Number eight is the ability to put your own den on the parties list. You know how you can host your own party? I mean, everyone's probably done it at one point or another. You pay a diamond, you host your own party, and you can name it like out of a list of wheel things, and then you're given a list of default things that you can choose from. But what if you could put your own den on the parties list? And you could actually name it more things. You know, you could have something like fashion show or plushy shop or something like that, or like adoption center. So that instead of having to have people sit in Jamal Township and just spam whatever they want people to do in their den, you can actually put it on the parties list and you can be a part of your own party while the party's going on and not just having to advertise for it in Jamal Township. And here's one that I can't just talk about enough. There are a few things that I know I've mentioned in previous videos, but they're just so important. We just have to have them. This one is the ability to choose from a full color spectrum for all your items. And yes, I know this might screw up the rare system temporarily and a lot of items that are like glitched or haven't come back in certain colors would be messed up. But honestly, 
I'd just be glad to get rid of them. I'm so tired of having to deal with like, is this color rarer than this color? Or no, this color is worth a ton, but this color is worth in store. And also it would add so much creativity and customization to the game. I just feel like that would be good. And as someone who used to care about rares a lot, I totally understand where the counter argument is coming from. I don't think Animal Jam should ever release every single item into stores. I think that would kill their game, but to get rid of these weird colors and make it so that everyone has the freedom to choose whatever the color they wanted would be really cool. And of course, there's a good side of you can choose whatever color you want and you can be so much more creative. The ability to lock your own den completely, so no buddies, or just kick individual people out. You know when Fuzzy Bunny 2295 is in your den and you're like, Fuzzy Bunny? No, I don't want you in my den right now and Fuzzy Bunny won't move. But you don't wanna like lock your whole den and kick everyone out. Or maybe choose your buddy. You don't wanna like unbuddy her and then like lock your den and kick her out. You should just be able to kick people out of your own den. It's kind of ridiculous that you have your own house that you decorated yourself that you can invite people into and choose who gets into, but once someone gets in, you can't get rid of them. It's like, it's my house, it's my rules. Please, Animal Jam. Next up, it is kind of like a rare item Monday, but something I think would be really cool. There are a lot of cool items that just haven't come back. In forever and they're not rare necessarily they're still like not rare they're just kind of like forgotten about but there are a lot of cool items like those lit trees they used to have that everyone loves it's impossible to get them nowadays but they're not rare so i think it'd be really cool if animal jam had this special shop where like every week an item from the past that hasn't showed up that isn't rare would appear for like the remainder of the week that'd be really cool and it'd be similar to rare item monday but it wouldn't necessarily be new items or new recolored items. It would actually just be recycling old items that Animal Jam hasn't brought out in a while. And it would be a way to make sure that all the time they put into those items didn't go to waste, that people still got to enjoy those old items. And those are my only reasons, so sorry, that's only two. But I think that'd be really cool. So, Webkins is like a really popular game. And that itself is a game. So what if Animal Jam had like a smaller Webkins within web no not webkins within animal jam it's like you know in club penguin one of my favorite things always was taking care of your puffles and like buying food and toys and things and making sure that they stayed alive and didn't like run away or die so what if in gabby's animal hospital there was actually a mini game where you could choose one of your pets and like take care of them forever i think it'll be ridiculous because we have like 30 pet slots to take care of all of your pets that would just get so frustrating but if you could just pick your favorite pet and take care of it bring it on walks buy it toys maybe with Diamonds, just to incentivize Animal Jam to add this, that would be really fun. I would really enjoy taking care of my own pet like that. Again, I've talked about this in another video, so I'll keep it kind of short, but I think an underwater diamond shop would be a great addition for Animal Jam because we're getting a ton of new diamonds with this new member daily spin that's coming out, and we're gonna need more places to spend them. And once you buy everything in the land diamond shop, people are gonna go to the underwater diamond shop, which would repopularize underwater. And if you add all these cool new items underwater, hey, what do you know? All of a sudden, you've got some legit lands that people may actually go visit. Number two is something that kind of already exists, but needs to go farther. So Animal Jam's plushies are a really great idea. They're so popular when you just join Animal Jam. Everyone does them at first, but the rare ones aren't that rare. They're just a little rarer than the normal ones. But what I think would be awesome is if we had like super, super rare ones that were like based off the alphas or something. And then tying into that, there should be toys based off the alphas. Like, you know all those AJ toys, the little mini ones you get? That would be so cool if I got like a little Sir Gilbert toy. I would actually buy all those if there's just a teeny tiny chance that I could get a super rare Sir Gilbert toy. And of course, the number one thing on every single person's list, I'm not even gonna like talk about this for that long because I'm sure you're tired of hearing about it, the auction house. Everyone wants it, we really need it. There are plenty of places you could implement it. It would make trading so much better. It would just be great. If you don't know what it is, it's basically just this giant marketplace where you could put up whatever item you wanted and people would just bid for it, like on eBay. They could just put up their items and you could say like yes or no, or you could like see how much an item was worth. And then you could check other people's trades. So you could like look people's items up and like trade your stuff for them without having to go and meet them in the game. Like, it's taken so long. We need this. I'm sure it's going to get added eventually. Everyone wants it. Everyone needs it. Please, 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 just, just please. I don't care if you charge us like a diamond per transaction or it costs like diamonds to put your items up onto the auction house. Just, just, please. So anyways, Beans, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this new little top 10 style that I'll probably never do again. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.